Shane Lowry is with us at the 106 PGA oh. Championship. <laughs> Shane, a 62 today. How would you summarize that performance? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, it was. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute of it. Obviously, um, probably the most disappointed anyone can ever be shooting 62. I knew what was at stake and. Um, just didn't hit the putt hard enough. Had it on a good read and just broke away from the hole. But uh, yeah, it's it's. Look, I went out with a job to do today. My job was to go out and try and get myself back in the tournament, and uh, I definitely did that. That's great. Thanks. We'll take some questions. Starting up on Mike 17. Shane, best putting round of your career. What do you credit it to? Um, I uh, I don't know to be honest. I changed my putter at the Zurich Classic, and even there, like if I had a put as well, I think me and Rory would have won by a few. Um, I feel like uh, I've sort of changed up how I've been practicing the last two weeks, uh, sort of getting away from the technical side of it and just trying to hold putts and just um, you know doing a lot of drills. Um, but yeah, it's nice to finally see a few going in the hole because it's been you know a slow year for me on the greens and uh, it's been nice to see it this week. Look, when I got here, I saw the greens. The greens are beautiful. They're a nice pace to hold putts and uh, yeah, it was nice to see a few going in. Did you have a number in mind today? I thought if I could get to double digits, that was my plan. Like I was, you know, if I could shoot 65, um, I felt like, you know, I'd be there. I obviously need another at least 65 tomorrow if if I did that. But that's what I wanted to do. But obviously, a few better is nice. We'll go next to Mike seven, 12, and then five. Over here. Oh, it looked like uh, a fried egg on 10, but like not the <sighs> normal kind. Can you walk us through what happened there? How disappointing was that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was, was just. Crazy. uh I was, you know, I was on such a, my momentum was there. I was on a good run and I hit a great second shot straight at the flag. Obviously just came up a few yards short, but it's kind of where I was trying to hit it in that bunker because I knew it could get it up and down. And it pitched in the bunker, obviously rolled up the face of it and rolled back in its pitch mark. So it was, uh, it was interesting. And then I felt like it was just going to come out, come out soft and it came out flying out of it. But yeah, that was, that was disappointing. But you know, I, I had a nice up and down there, which kept me going. Hey, Shane, hey, many congratulations on a history-making round today. Um, I want to ask you, how important is it, do you feel now, to put yourself in the position that you are now in going into Sunday, and what would potentially a second major title mean to you to add to your glittering trophy cabinet? Um, obviously, you, you come here at the start of every major championship, and you know what it means to win one of these. Um, I've been fortunate enough to do it before, and... Um, you know, to win one is pretty good, but to win, you know, multiple is, uh, you know, you're kind of, you uh, kind of a bit of a different level. So, um, yeah, it would mean a lot to me tomorrow. Obviously, look, there's a long way between now and that. Uh, we'll see what Xander does and Colin does in the back nine today first, and and then, uh, you know, we get out tomorrow, and hopefully, I can, you know, I'll just go out and give my best. I go out, I'll fight hard. Um, you know, I've been in this position a few times before. Um, learn from, you know, the sort of Oakmont and, and tournaments like that and, and brought that into Port Rush and hopefully I can bring some of that with me tomorrow and, and just give it everything. And can you just tell me as someone who will never ever know what it's like to line up a putt for a round of 61, what exactly is going through your mind? What are you thinking? Um, I, knew, I just I just really wanted a hole, probably too much. Um, I, yeah, it was, it was just, I kind of stood back and allowed myself to Enjoy the moment. It was a pretty cool moment to have. Uh, it would have been a cr pretty cool moment to kind of seal the deal and do it. But at the end of the day, I knew, even if I didn't do it, that I'd done what I needed to do today, and, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Five. With, uh, with what Justin was doing on the front nine, have you ever played so well and not taken the honor on the tee? I know. I, I said that to him on the... Uh, I think I was walking off the fifth green. I was like, what am I going to have to do to get the honor off you today? And... Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty cool out there, the two of us. You know, he obviously had a great round as well, and he's put himself in there tomorrow, and we both played great. Um, and it was nice to kind of bounce bounce off each other and feed off each other the whole day. Let's go to Mike 15, then 1, and 20. Shane, just interested more in the, the psychology of that potential 61. How early was that in your mind as something that could happen, and how does it, if at all, does that influence you? Uh, well, when you go out in 29, you sort of think, well, we have a good day going here. And, uh, you know, you've got 10s, pretty gettable par 5. And, um, 
I think when I hold the putt on 14, I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah, this is you know a good chance. But obviously, 15 is a tricky hole, and 16 is a tough hole. And um, you know, but I felt I felt like I played them very well. Obviously, the birdie 17. That's when I knew, you know, I just really wanted to hit a good tee shot on the last. I pushed it a little bit and um, laid it up, and I hit a great wedge shot, and yeah, obviously just missed the putt. So uh, yeah, it was it was in my mind from you know about 14 onwards. But you looking? It looked as if you looked straight up at 18, as if you were going to maybe hit. Yeah, the, I, the ball was kind of sitting up in the rough. Uh, I had 170 yards to the, the fairway, the, the other side of the water, and I probably could have done it, but. It, felt like it was maybe a silly decision to go for it in, under the circumstances that, you know, I, I knew if I made five that I'm still in the tournament. If I made six, I'd be, you know, livid with myself. So um, I felt like, you know, it was probably a bit too risky to take on. I, I hit a poor layup, to be honest. Um, and I got fortunate that it was in the semi rough and I had a perfect number from there. And I hit a great shot then after that. Hey, Shane. Um, Leading up to this week, did you see anything in your game specifically that might have foreshadowed something like this? I know you've talked about the putting struggles. Did yeah. it, what, what was clicking for you? Well, I feel like tee to green, I've been as good as I've ever been this year. And and, uh, and then I came out the first two days, it was probably the worst I've played in a long time. But my putter kept me going and, and kept me in the tournament. And, and then I went to the range with my coach yesterday afternoon and, you know, sort of, it was just an alignment issue. Um, I was set up too far left. and. You know, all sorts of bad things happen for me when I do that. So, uh, yeah, fixed that. I went out there today, played with a bit of freedom and, you know, managed to do that score. But, yeah, I've sort of felt all season that if I can warm my putter up that I could do so, that I could be dangerous. I, I kept saying it, you know, and here I am going out, you know, one of the last groups tomorrow, one of the last few groups tomorrow, um, you know, with a chance in this tournament. So that that's nice. And it's, you know, regardless of what happens tomorrow, it's a nice position to be in. When's the last time you were this satisfied after a round? It seems like there's a pretty good smile. You can't quite yeah. wipe off your face. T to be honest, I said that to uh, my coach, my agent, after the first two rounds, last two days, I feel like I've gotten a lot out of my, round, my golf this week. You know, I played poorly the first two days, I felt. Got a lot out of the rounds, and that is, it's been a while since I felt like that. So um, it's a nice feeling to have, and, you know, I'm going to enjoy it and, and uh, you know, kind of, Get out tomorrow and then just try and do it again. Go next to Mike nine, followed by six, and then four. Shane, were you a little surprised the leaders didn't push out a little farther yesterday afternoon? And did that give you a little uh, jump start knowing that you weren't as far back as you started? And then how does the mindset change tomorrow after knowing you needed to go low today? Um, somebody asked me this question after the first, or maybe it was yesterday. Like, it happens every week on the PGA Tour. You know, somebody goes low the first day and everyone thinks 25 under is going to win or 20 under is going to win. But, you know, it, do, it doesn't work like that. And, um, you know, it's a four-round event and it, it takes a lot to get to the 72nd hole on Sunday. So, um, you know, I sort of felt like they weren't going to go too far away. Obviously, you know, the, the leaders have played some really solid golf and had some really good scores. But there are a lot of difficult holes out there as well, albeit, you know, it's soft and there's not much wind. You know, if you play good, it's scorable. But if you hit, if you hit a bad shot, you're going to get in trouble. If you hit an average shot, you could get in trouble as well. So, um, yeah, it's uh, what what am I going to? What was the tomorrow's mindset? Oh, I mean, you look, go low today. I just have to uh, look. I'm going to I'm going to enjoy this round. Um, you know, I'll go back, put my feet up tonight, have some dinner, hopefully get some sleep, and and get out. And I'll just fight hard tomorrow and go out and give my best. Where are we at here? Mike, five or six? Shane, following up on the question with smiling out there, was there something you took from the Zurich win that might have carried over to today? Uh, look, it was obviously nice to win in Zurich, but if you had seen me last week, I wasn't smiling on the golf course. <laughs> you know, I'm quite hollow on me, don't get on very well. So, um, yeah, I, I obviously, look, winning at the Zurich Classic was... Uh, great for a lot of things, you know, FedEx Cup, um, you know, stuff like that, just to get another win under my belt, it, you know, gives you a lot of confidence, and um, yeah, it, it was nice to do that, but then, you you know, you, you go on to the next week, and it doesn't make a difference what you've done last week, and that's, I think that's the great thing about this game, it, it doesn't matter what, it, what you've done last week, you've still got, you know, next week and the week after, and look, even if I go out and win tomorrow, or go out and 
know, finish 20th tomorrow. We've still got, you know, the Canadian Open in a couple of weeks and Memorial and the US Open. We've still got a lot to look forward to. So, um, yeah, it was nice to get the win at the Zurich, but, um, you know, you just move on quickly and, and get on to the next event. We'll wrap it up with a couple more. Mike, five, followed by 19. What's the lowest you've ever shot anywhere, even if it's not official? Have you ever shot below 60? I don't. Uh, I remember having a chance one day, and I don't normally like go out and keep scores. Like, but if you get on a run, you sort of think, "Oh yeah, I'm actually doing all right here." Um, I don't think. I think I maybe shot 61 before, 60, 61, but I've never shot below. Because I remember having. I actually I've shot 60 before. I had a putt for a 59 before, uh, and I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> We see a lot of guys will, you know, when they're out on the course, will try to keep their emotions to a minimum. Um, I think you would be categorized as one of the more emotive players in pro golf. Do you feel like it's an asset at all that you uh, kind of wear your heart on your sleeve? Um, well, I think I'm doing okay. Um, <laughs> I think I'm happy with my career so far. So, yeah, I think I'm doing okay. So. I'm not going to change. Great. Thanks for your time, Shane. Perfect. Thanks, guys.